I want us to remember what happened that day and be horrified by ourselves. New York in the late 1980s was a completely schizophrenic, divided city. New York's now the capital of racial violence. If I had more bullets, I would have shot them all again and again. Criminality, gang wars, drug wars. We were supposed to be afraid. It would have been irrational not to be afraid. Off with the camera, man! Last night, a woman jogger was found unconscious and partially clothed in Central Park. She was beaten and sexually assaulted. A woman jogging in Central Park. Central Park was holy. It was the crime of the century. Five youths were arrested at 96th Street, all between 14 and 15 years of age. They got them! You can only imagine the pressure to have this crime solved and solved quickly. First, we was all together. Then they started to put us in different rooms separately. What did you do? Who were you with? Who did you come with? The tone was very scary. I felt like they might take us to the back of the precinct and kill us. You're not going to go home until you give up a story. I told my son, go to the park that night. I feel guilty. I'm telling the guy, I don't know what you're talking about. They're getting a little angry. And they're like, you know you did it, didn't you? He had been interrogated for over 24 hours. That amounts to pressure. These young men were guilty. It was almost unquestioned. The police controlled the story. They created the story. They seized on the fears of the people. Wilding, the bestial characterization of the black man. There's no DNA match whatsoever to any of these boys. I was going nuts. No blood on the kids. Nobody could identify them. But if they confessed, they confessed, and that was that. A lot of people didn't do their jobs. Reporters, police, prosecutors, defense lawyers. This was institutional protectionist. We falsely convicted them, and we walked away from our crime. This is the ultimate siren that says none of us is safe.